Trigger warnings have been bandied about, and I think they mean it, it, it's a term that means different things at different times. I understand it to be a content warning, to in the way that sometimes you'll see it at the beginning of a, a TV show, or you'll see it at the beginning of an NPR, you'll hear it at the beginning of an NPR, this piece may be difficult for some viewers, or this piece may have content that is not appropriate for children. It's saying that there is somewhat explosive content. And that seems reasonable to me, to a certain extent, that's worth saying, so that people can brace themselves, can say, hmm, uh, maybe I want to go there, maybe I don't. The problem, when you get more precise than that, is that you're talking about material that can potentially trigger panic attack or nightmares or uh, any number of symptoms that are associated with trauma. But trauma is not such a specific thing that you can say this generates that, and I was going to give you this example. Uh, for over 10 years, if I passed a hospital, went, saw a movie that had a hospital in it, had anything to do with hospitals, I would start to shake and cry. It was a, an awful response. Are you going to tell people, sorry, no, there's a hospital in this? We don't know. In other words, trauma is associative. I may associate what triggers me, maybe something completely benign, you can't tell, there's no way to know. What you can do, I believe, is to try as a teacher to take care of, to be aware of, to be sensitive to the reactions that people have to material that is inevitably explosive. That's what we deal with. But to go any further than saying, yes, when we go in this direction or you're going to read this material, there are parts of this that you may find disturbing. Beyond that, I think you're allowing a doorway for people to say, oh, then I don't want to go there. Whether we are able to communicate and empathize across cultural differences, racial differences, religious differences, this is a huge issue and it comes up a lot in theater. Most people who act believe that acting is an art of empathy and that on some level we really share, we connect to human experience and I believe that. Do I understand, do any of us understand perfectly the experience of someone else? Of course not. But we do overlap. Pain is pain. Love is love. How you or you or anyone comes through life and what they experience and the way they grow and the things that are important to them will may differ very likely and I each of us needs to hear I need to hear from my students I need to hear where the differences are but I have to for me I couldn't be in this profession otherwise believe that there's essentially a basis of communication an empathy an understanding of human experience that we share in a classroom, it's important to say at the outset, this is a space where you will do your best work if you feel safe, comfortable, if you know that at any point you can withdraw, if at any point you feel the need, you can leave, you can pull away, you can do what you need because you taking care of yourself is really important. And I am a resource and I can help you find other resources. For, to deal with issues that go beyond what the class itself is about. If things bring up bad material for you, talk to me. To tag material as potentially harmful is first of all wrong because you don't know what's harmful. You have no way of knowing. Secondly, I think that you are signaling to students who may wish to armor themselves a bit, you're signaling that it's okay to withdraw, when most times it is much better to go forward. So I don't think that anything beyond a warning that says this material may be difficult for some of you. If it is, feel free to deal with it. Take responsibility and deal with it if you need to. Do whatever you need to and you have my support. But 
to say, take one more step, as opposed to a professor signaling, uh-uh, you're, you're going to get hurt if you go here. I'd rather say, here, my hands will hold you if you need. But try. I think that we're making it too simple to withdraw when it's engaging instead of avoiding that's really healthy for people. And healthy is what I care about. I care about the health of my students, the emotional well-being. I absolutely do. You can't act, you can't learn, you can't grow if you don't feel safe and able to sustain. But that doesn't mean withdrawing. I think that to imagine that our differences are so vast that we can't understand each other is to take away the whole premise, certainly of art and secondly of education. Yes, we have diverse students coming in. I'm not sure, I'm not sure even what that means except that I need to, all of us need to be more open, more inviting, more engaging. There's no, to me there's no threat in that as long as we are all uh, saying that each one of us has a valid story to add to the tapestry of stories. Each one of us has a valid perspective. It does mean, and I hope that over the years I've become more aware and more sensitized to what happens in a classroom, to classroom dynamics that can hurt people who are, for whatever reasons, feel outside. And it's part of my job, I think, to weave together a classroom and hopefully a whole community on campus to be part of that, that says, no, 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 we expand. And you are part of this community. You are very much part of this community, but part of that means that I, as, as a person who teaches, has to be especially sensitized to the signs and symbols and words that can hurt. I was teaching an acting one class. Uh, one of the things they do is write journals. And I had, in one of my students, she was writing to me that she felt very alienated because I used the word brouhaha. And, seriously, and I was astonished. And in talking with her, it turned out she was in fact a first generation Native American from Alaska. She had no idea what the word meant and assumed everyone else did. It's part of the way I talk, I have no idea, but it brought up for her, a whole series of things that said, nobody here knows who I am. I had no idea. I was delighted to learn more about her. And the class was too. But without that, without reaching out to me, or in this case, just this little instance of a word, I wouldn't have known. I think it's important to discriminate. Let me explain. Trigger warnings, and we've been talking about them, and that's fine, but they often get conflated with ideas that I don't like, which have to do with silencing, censorship, disinviting, not listening to points of view that you disagree with. A safe space, and I believe in having safe spaces. I think students, I think all of us need safe spaces. I really do. Emotional safe spaces. I don't believe in intellectual safe spaces. I believe we're a college, a campus, where controversial ideas are the point of what we do. So as long as I can make that distinction, I'm very happy with that. Safe spaces, yes. Intellectual safe spaces, uh-uh. 